What is going on you guys? Welcome back to another video. I haven't posted a video in like almost two weeks or something like that. So took a little bit of a break. Uh, we got a lot of new things to get into this video. I actually got a new mic so the audio might sound a little bit better. But first let me show you guys what I did earlier today uh, which is the main kind of center of attraction of this video. So check it out. First off as you can see the African cichlid tank or the peacock cichlid tank looks a whole lot different and probably even better. Now I, I actually took the two fluorescent lights that were there and there off and replaced them with an LED light strip and as you can see it not only makes the tank look a whole lot better but it makes the colors on the peacocks look a whole lot better as well so that's really really good and I also added Chungus' old filter onto this tank as well so we now have two dual hang on the back filters on this tank so it's got some really really good filtration but anyways check it out so there is one of my electric blue Jack Dempsey's back there that's actually the little bit bigger one and then the other one is hanging out right over there up underneath that hang on the back um, filter. So it's going to take these guys a while to really settle into this tank. Oh, look at that. He's coming out. Oh, gosh. The freaking Cenodonis came in there and just bull rushed him. But anyways, let me explain why I moved them into this tank. So for the longest, those two fish were in my 30-gallon hexagon tank with a bunch of tetras and barbs. And they did really, really good in there. They were very peaceful. But here recently, the bigger one and now the little one has started to become a little bit aggressive towards the little tetras in there. And I've had, I've seen the bigger one with a little bitty one in its mouth before and I don't want to risk him, you know, eating any of the other ones in there. So I figured it was probably best to go ahead and get those guys out of there as soon as possible. And well, the 55 gallon peacock cichlid tank was basically the best option that I had to put them in. And although they are two totally different types of cichlids, you know, one's an African cichlid, one's a South American cichlid, the Jack Dempsey's and peacocks are around the same size and they also have two pretty similar temperaments as well. They're not quite as aggressive as some of the other cichlids are. And so far, so good. Now obviously, like I said, it is going to take these two fish uh, probably a good week or so to really get used to being in this tank and uh, around these other fish because they've been in that other tank for over a year now. I've basically raised them up in that tank and like I said, it was just time to get them out of there anyways. But anyways, we have seven peacocks and by the way, that is the newest addition right there. I got that guy off camera and I'm actually not sure what exact type of peacock that he is. So if you guys know, then please let me know down below in the comments. But we have seven peacocks, the one little bitty Leporinus, which is really starting to grow a lot now. He's a really cool fish. And then the two Cynodonis catfish right down there. So two pretty cool additions, two uh, definitely unique additions to this tank because obviously you would not expect to see two electric blue jack Dempsey's in a peacock cichlid tank. But you know what? We're going to make it happen. And I'm definitely going to be keeping a very close eye on the two jack Dempsey's and, you know, just seeing how well they're getting along with the peacocks and all that. Uh, but I'll definitely give you guys an update on them in the next video. Check this out. I actually set up my own little feeder tank last week. I've got about 500 Rosier Reds in here. And the reason why I did this is so I can have a constant supply of live food for our Predator Pond, our turtles, and some of the fish inside as well. So they're all doing really, really good. I've been taking a couple out here and there. But this, just, this is going to help me out a lot. Two soft shells are out and about right now. Check that out. But I'm not really sure why, what really happened. But I put some Rosier Reds in this tank last week for them to eat. And once they got all fattened up from them, they just left the rest of them alone. So now there's about 10 or 12 rows of resin here just swimming around and chilling. They won't even think about going after them. I have no clue why. And the guppy pond is doing really, really good as well. As you can see, it is freaking covered in the dang water lettuce. But all the guppies, I know they're loving it. Because these things, they've got some pretty long roots on them. There's a dang honeybee right there. Check this out. Look at the roots on this thing. Look at that. They literally go all the way to the bottom of the pond. So they kind of spread out too. And I know the guppies absolutely love it but yeah they're all doing really really good just breeding like crazy in here and uh looking really really good in the sunlight check out some of those guys down there look at that love the colors on those guys check this thing out i got this thing off of amazon for about 30 bucks and basically what it is is it's literally an underwater camera bag for like the camera that i'm filming with right now so that way we can get you know a lot better footage with this camera than i could with a gopro and uh i said we try it out in the pond
So yeah, that thing's pretty cool. Basically all it is is the camera goes in right there, locks in place, and the lens goes right there, and well, there you go. And yes, that was a new coral that you guys saw at the beginning of this video, and if you didn't really know what it was, you would probably think that it was an anemone, but it's not. It's called a Duncan coral. There it is right there. It's one I've been wanting to add to this tank for a while now, and it's got a lot of flow to it, kind of like the hammers, like those right there. So it's got a lot of movement to it. It's really cool, and as you can see, I replaced it with the candy canes. The candy canes are now more out in the front and I also added that little wave maker back there it's a 600 gallon power wave maker just so I could have a little more flow in here I was really trying to adjust the power head like in a certain area and it was hard to get flow on the surface and also down in the water for the corals to flow in so I added that so now we got flow down here and up here on the surface and if you guys have any questions about fish tanks fishing ponds or anything like that then please feel free to DM me on Instagram and I will be happy to answer you guys' questions but anyways guys with that being said I'll catch all of you guys in the next video peace